Hey guys, Target here. We're back with another Be a GM mode. Uh, let's continue on here. We're gonna do, uh, is it January? We're gonna do January now, all of January we're gonna sim it. I'm not gonna change anything because we've been kind of up and down so far. So let's take a look and see exactly um, how we do this. Because like, hold on, sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. What do we got here? We gotta change our scouting. We've done WHL the entire time. Okay, so now we know that Worsh, Worsh and Carrick. Where the heck did he go? Did I miss him? Am I going crazy? He's gone. Uh, let's sort by that. Let's find him. Sit to the ass. Oh, I'm on defenseman. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going, I thought I was going crazy. Okay, so Shinkarik and Lazar are both five and uh, four and a half stars. We also have some defensemen that have been confirmed. Morrissey, Pollock, Waz a three and a half. So that's pretty much as much as I want to kind of scout. Um, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at the Q, because Nathan McKinnon them is a four star. But I'm thinking he's going to be a little bit better than that. So I want to do I want to do six weeks here. All right. All right. So let's continue with our sim here and see exactly how we do. There was another win. T.J. Brennan, a minor top two. He probably has absolute now. That's okay. He probably has no value. This is a team we could beat. Phoenix are 14, 17, and four, and we lose to them, of course. That's, that's the way our team goes. We beat the good teams like LA, and we lose to the bad teams. St. Louis is a good team, too. There's a win. See? What the hell? And look at LA, 23, 13, and 4, and we, we just shut them out. I'm not complaining about wins, don't get me wrong, but we're beating the good teams and losing to the bad ones. There's the, I hate the Penguins. Oh, we beat them. Oh, 19. Okay, we need to turn this into a good month. I need, like, I think this is going to be literally right down to the wire for us. I sold us, I said we're going to probably finish in 8th, but, you know, 8th and ninth are literally hairs apart. Nice. Rep went up. Now we got two phones. <laughs> we got our phones back, I guess. Look at us go now. There we go. We got a few wins in a row. This is nice. This is much better. <laughs> Come on, beat the Oilers. They've got a roughly the same record as us. Oh, come on. The anticipation is killing me. Oh, we lost 2-1. Did we lose an OT? I think we did. I think we lost that in OT, so that's good. Yes. Good. That's a good... That was a much better month. Much better. I think you're going to see our numbers increase, and you'll, I'll show you in the stats uh, how much better we did that, that month. Do we want to play the All-Star game? No, it's okay. We'll just skip past that. We got one more game left here in the month, and then we're gonna take a look and see where how we're doing here. We lost three one. Okay, that's okay. So that's the end of the month. Uh, Corey Perry got nineteen goals. Let's see if we're where we are. We're in sixth. We're in sixth. We're only three points up on ninth though, so that can really disappear fast. Uh, in our division, San Jose has the top, and they're up on us by fifteen points. Yeah, not gonna reach them very likely anyway so LA's in our division they're tied with us too uh, I think Phoenix and Dallas are also in our division if I'm not mistaken I believe that sounds right to me anyway so yeah so it's LA kind of we're competing with right now I mean Phoenix and Dallas are both pretty much out of it they're back like eight ten points from us so uh, let's take a look further on here Look at Taylor Hall, 23 goals. Look at Ovechkin. He's got 11 goals on second place. My God, we're not. Up. We're close. We're two goals off in there. Uh, we're not good there. Getzlaff's up there for points now, 47. He's not far off the lead now, nine points back from Ovechkin. That's good. Uh, Hiller's got in the wins now. He's two off from the top. That's just because he plays every game, but 
And he won't be there, I'm sure, because of his losses. No, he's not. Let's take a look, a closer look at our stats. We'll go to uh, team standings first, look at our team stats. Let's see here, okay. Goals four per game. We're number seven right now. That's a huge increase for us. What were we at, 16, somewhere in there? 16, I believe. So that's really good, that's fantastic. Goals against, we're 20 seconds. So like we are literally hanging around on the bottom there for goals against, and I don't like that. But if our goals four go up, and our goals against are lower than our goals for, which they're not quite, it's like point, point .02 off, uh, you know, your team's on the up and up. And that's just trying to correct for the last month where we had a very poor turnout. Power play, we're third in the NHL, that's good, that's up from seven, that's really good. And penalty kill, why isn't it sorting? Okay, now it reacts, oh, man, this game. 23rd. Oh, no. Yeah, 23rd in the NHL. But we are up, like, 3%. So we are, our face, our, our penalty kill is going up, and Buffalo is still at 89. My God. Okay, so let's take a look at player stats and see who our major contributors are and see if we need to jumble the lines. Right now, I don't really want to change anything because of how well we're doing uh, now. I don't like to change too much. What is going on with this sorting thing? There we go. Okay, so gets laughs at 47 points. That's almost a point per game. That's good. Perry's at 40, and Bobby Ryan's at 35. So Ryan's lacking. That's not a great season for him. Corey Perry, uh, like only a 19 goal season. That's not acceptable enough, in my opinion. You need to be up in there, especially when being a 50 goal scorer and a former uh, Rocket Richard Trophy winner. So. Uh, let's see who else is. Solani's at 29 points. That's not bad for an old geezer. Zajac's doing well on the second line with 34 points. You know what more could we ask from these guys? Uh, who's our other left winger? Hagman. 19 points. See, he's not a left winger, but he is playing left wing. That's something we're going to straighten out for next season. Hopefully we can get a couple free agents. A couple of right wing free agents that are willing to jump into a second line role. You know what I mean? That can actually produce with Zajac because we got him and he's great to have. Uh, we'll check our goaltending really quickly. 2.54, that is down. I believe it was 2.70. And he's at 91.75. So he's slowly creeping up to the 92 mark. Not bad. Okay, so let's do... Uh, I'm not going to change anything. We seem pretty good. Everything seems to be gelling for the most part. As best as our team can do, considering we're lacking some depth. And we'll go right to the first of the month in uh, March. So this is February now coming up. That was a good win to start. We need that. We need that separation from ninth place because there's only three points. So every win that we can get to create that gap would be great. I mean, it'll help us tremendously. So, I mean, there's four points right in the bag right there. And if Edmonton lost both their games, Adam Party, no, that's okay. We know Adam Party's not going to be very good. There's a loss to Nashville. Like I said, only, no two losses in a row. But we're playing San Jose, the best in our division now. A win against them would be great. They may be the best in the NHL. I didn't even look. Come on. Ugh, no. Too much to ask. Too much to ask against a team like that. That's for sure. So, I mean, we're 58 points right now. You need to get into mid-90s to be able to uh, actually make the playoffs. For the most part. In this game, it seems like as the seasons go on, the less you need. Sean Monahan's in there. See, Nathan McKinnon all of a sudden is a four and a half star just from that one scout. So that's good. We're going to keep him there. We'll leave that. That's all I need from that. And I'd like to sort out this. Let's do six weeks here in the OHL. Okay, we'll continue our sim right through to there. There's a loss. That was in OT, though, so that's okay, I think. I could be wrong on that one. I don't keep track so much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, three in a row. What is going on with this team? You have a great month, and then you crap the bed the next month. Like, there's an OT loss, I guess, but... No. 
We're at 60 points. I mean, it's not bad, but we've only gone up six points. Oh, another tough team. That was a win, I guess. Like, that's good. It's hard to be optimistic when you keep losing. You show such signs of promise, and then it's all gone. Let's finish this month, and hopefully we can stay in the positive. We will. But barely. We got to beat Detroit here. Beating Detroit would be really nice to finish off the season or finish off the month. And I may, I'm actually thinking about making some changes to the roster now. 